Hola chicos. Hi guys, we got our new vocabulary here today. Ahora, para Español 2, estamos en página 187. We're now on page 187 and we're learning our vocabulary para unidad 3, lección 2. Empezamos con las metas, por supuesto. We're going to start with our goals, of course. So, in this chapter, we have three main goals. We're going to learn how to describe past activities and events. We already actually know a little bit of this. This is the preterito, our preterite tense. So we're going to continue with that theme from semester one. We're also going to ask for and talk about items at a marketplace. So once again, we're continuing our theme of shopping from the last chapter, except we're going from department stores, shoe stores, our small stores, to the open air markets that are very common in Latin America. Also, when we're shopping, we don't want to be rude. So we're going to learn how to express ourselves courteously. Bueno. Empezamos con el mercado. So let's go ahead and get started with our vocab. We got some really short, sweet, pretty easy vocab this chapter. Lots of nouns for things I would found it, find at a marketplace, and as well as some adjectives to describe those items. Empezamos. Por favor, repita conmigo. Los artículos. Los artículos. Significa goods. Barato. Barata. Significa inexpensive or cheap. Not cheap in quality. Cheap in price. La escultura. La escultura. Significa sculpture. Fino. Fina. Significa fine. Una ganga. Una ganga. Significa bargain. La pintura. La pintura. Significa painting. El retrato. El retrato. Significa portrait, so a specific type of painting. Único. Única. Significa unique. Estar hecho a mano. Significa handmade. Ser de. This will be an expression to say to be made of something. Por ejemplo, ser de. Cerámica, to be made of ceramic. Cuero, cuero, significa leather. Madera, madera, significa wood. Metal, metal, significa metal. Oro, oro, significa gold. Piedra, piedra, significa stone. Y finalmente, plata. Plata significa silver. So we can use all these words to describe what items at a market are made out of. Ahora, vamos a aprender unas expresiones muy importante en español. Now we're going to learn some very important expressions in Spanish so that we don't come off rude. Con mucho gusto. Con mucho gusto significa with pleasure. Actually, when I was in Costa Rica, I started to realize they didn't really say de nada. They said, con mucho gusto. So anytime I said thank you, people would respond with pleasure. Like, it's a pleasure for me to do something for you. So this is what they used instead of de nada. So this was a Costa Rica thing. Por ejemplo, I'm using it in my picture here. It says, me concede este baile con mucho gusto. Will you have this dance with pleasure? Con permiso. Con permiso. This is a good one when you're in a crowded place and you need to kind of get by and you don't want to just push your way through. You would say, con permiso, literally with permission. This is how I would say, excuse me, please, in English. De nada. De nada is how we say, you're welcome. Literally, de, we know means of, and nada means nothing. So it's of nothing, like, ah, not a big deal for me to do that for you. Disculpe. Disculpe. This one is excuse me, but with the intention of saying, excuse me, I'm sorry, I need your attention. So you want to have the person's attention. So not just get by excuse me, but excuse me, please. So here in this picture, I have disculpe. And the mapache, my raccoon there, says, disculpe, señor, este es su gato. Is this your cat? No hay de que. No hay de que, mija. La fuerza te, te acompaña. So here I have Yoda, so he's saying, Don't mention it. 
mi hija is how I would say my child, mi hijo or mi hija. So often that's blended together in Espanol. La fuerza te acompaña. So the force will accompany you. No hay de que is like in English how we would say don't mention it, don't worry about it, no biggie. So it's another way to say you're welcome. Pase. Pase significa go ahead. Often this might be with pase adelante, like go forward, go ahead, to give permission to walk by. Y finalmente, perdóneme. Perdóneme significa forgive me. So if you accidentally elbow somebody, you probably don't want to just walk by and act like it didn't happen. Vas a decir, perdóneme. Forgive me, pardon me. Y finalmente, let's say I want to see something, I need to ask for help to view something at a market that's not maybe within reach, I will ask the attendant, me deja ver, me deja ver significa, may I see? This is a handy phrase to ask in a market. Muchas gracias chicos, vamos a practicar el vocabulario más en clase. Thank you guys, we'll practice this vocab more in class. Please complete the Google, Google form that follows. Adios.